what you read. So a pastor who does not read doesn't read the Bible and even the commentaries of the Bible then we are lying to people. We are lying. Yeah. This does not mean you're not called. Jeremiah was called. Jeremiah was called. But he didn't have anyone to mentor him. So he spent the day being beaten, put in jail, cursing the day he was born, telling God, you have lied to me because of not being mentored. He had a very great message to him. But he never learned the diplomacy of God. We have questions that we are about to ask you. The first do you believe do you believe it without doubt that you are called and also worthy to be ordained as a pastor musubize are you ready and also accept to, uh, to, to obey the apostle who is the leader of this ministry and also to obey all the plans for the development of this church? Let us anoint them with oil. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You overcome the, the giants. Be filled with more power. Beyond what you have been having. And may God increase your power. May He increase what God has done to you. Also do it to also others. Also share it with others. This oil when you anoint the sick they should be healed you cast out demons in the name of Jesus Christ. this hand may God use it and miracles and signs and the gifts of the Holy Spirit let's give God a mighty hand clap let us pray Father God we thank you for your goodness and you are great we thank you for you revealed yourself to us and we got to know you and today we are called your children today we are called your people we are the promised people because of the blood of Jesus. And you ushered us into these promises which we are not for us. But because of your blood we are now called the children of the promises. Thank you God for the work that is going to be done today. Be in into God. Be in the midst of this action. And if you don't know their God, whatever we can do can be in vain. Come and be in our mind. Because this is your only one. You're the one who prepared it before the earth was created. God, that you would make us priests and kings. And we thank you for that. We thank you, Father. Bless each and every one here. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Amen. You may have your seats. Thank you so much. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a joyful day to be with you here. No and it's a blessing. We have a servant of God in our midst. Pastor Jonathan. Amen. Amen. 
These are the servants of God who came to visit us today. Karibu. You're welcome. And may God do good to you. We welcome you all. Wherever you're coming from and you came to join us to the pastor's ordination. Specifically, I am here with my spiritual father who ordained me to be a pastor. And he's the one who also brought me up in the church. Since I was young, and he baptized me. And he also gave me this ministry. Please together with mother, they may stand up and welcome them. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. I wanted you to know him. There are times people are asking, where does this come from? Did this one come from? Ask him, he'll tell you where I'm coming from. The day I was prayed for here in Rwanda, that was in 1999 as a pastor. It was in the month of July. He came from Congo. He was still staying there. And he came to ordain me. May God bless you richly. By that time, we even had no enough means. One of the people went into back to their home and brought a table and also a carpet. They put it before, then I knelt and they prayed for me. Mama Moses. Is Mama Moses here? Oh, Mama. <laughs> this mother you see here. <laughs> that time in 1999, <laughs> she's the one who brought her table <laughs> and a carpet. <laughs> and then my parent prayed for me. And also she has become a pastor. And today among the people we are ordaining, her husband also is being ordained as a pastor. Thank you so much. So it's a blessing to always have a reference. Every person who tells you that I am a servant of God, always ask them of their spiritual father. If they, start, if they are not straightforward, then free from them because each and every one has a place of birth. You meet people here outside prophesying, but before they prophesy, tell them thank you, but still tell me your spiritual father. Even when they may tell you about great things, and they should not tell you their origin of spirituality, then always have a question mark on their lives. Normally, you have a place of birth. Amen. Amen. So, I have a place <inaudible> born. He is my spiritual parent. Amen. Amen. Okay. In a short moment, let's share the word of God and then after we shall enter into this occasion of ordaining the pastors. Eh... We shall be reading in the book of Prophet Jeremiah. Chapter 3, verses 15. Jeremiah Ravuga, Imani Mubirango, 
And I will give you shepherds according to my heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. For us to understand this word very well, it's good to know the context of the time of the Jeremiah. This time Israel was in a nation. The land. It was in Bari a nation. They were in their own nation. Bari muri Israel. And they were in Israel. Ariko, ibi menyetso bigaragarako bagiye gukurwa mu gihugu cyabo baje kuba abanyagano mu bindi bihugu. But the signs of being captives were vivid that they were about to be taken. Kuberiki. Why? Abungeri bari bahari cyo gihe the shepherds of that time, they no longer preached the truth of the word of God. They worked together with the people who were ruling at that time to crock the truth. They had come to a time Israel when, is, when Israel had left their God and went to seek sorcerers, and they would bake bread under the tree calling upon a God called Tammuz. And so God was amazed. And he could not find any man In Israel, normally in Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem was given to Benjamin tribe. It's on the borders with Judah. Because David reigned in Jerusalem, people think that the Jerusalem was of Judah, but no, it was not given to the Judas. It was the, for the Benjamins because they were bordering the Judah. And in the, in the nation of the Benjamins, who, who, which was the nation of the land of the Jebusites. There, there was a small city under Jerusalem called Anatot. Even now it still exists. Anatot. And then Anatot is where God found a man. Who could be able to stand and testify in a time like that? There was also a crisis of the true servants of God. Anatoti. And then in this Anatos, it was a small city, but also there dwelled the priests and also the Levites. Harumutamzi witwaga Hilukia. There was a priest called Hilukia. Uyumugawa Hilukia, Yarafitumana Mutochan. And this priest had a very young child whom he had trained the things of God. And they had matured them when they were still young. And also brought them up in the fear of God. And so when God looked at the leadership crisis that was there at the time, then God was a manful of who to select to send in the nations. And 
And in the time of Judah, because, even in the Benjamin, there was a king called Josiah. He was the one ruling at that time. Josiah, Josiah he was the son of Amon. Amon, he was the son of Josiah. Josiah, he Amon did not live right with God but when his son Josiah came he started to do good things though he reigned when still a child and he did right before God but the hearts of the Israelites were far that's the time God called Jeremiah. Jeremiah was so young, very young in age, in between the years of five and ten years old. And then God called him. Then he said, God, I am young. God says there is no being young here. I knew you before I created you when you were still in the womb of God. And I have also purified and sanctified you before you were born. And I put you to be a prophet over this nation and even the nations. Jeremiah insisted, I am young, I can't speak. And God assured him that he would be with him. And God assured him that he would be with him and work with him. Until this third chapter that we just read, on the 15th verse, where God was assuring him that be comforted, you're not alone this time. I'll give you shape. I'll seek for you other people that are going to help you to lead these people. And I'll give you shepherds according to my heart. You Israel. They'll feed you with knowledge and understanding. So Jeremiah did a lot of mistakes. The mistakes he did are not sinful. They are mistakes of not being natural. Or he didn't know how to speak. If you could compare the prophet Nathan and also Jeremiah, they are quite different. Nathan was old in age and he had experience. God would show him things but still had the wisdom of how to speak it out. But because Jeremiah didn't have a chance of having a mentor, whatever God revealed to him, he would say it broad how he had seen it. And he would be beaten. And he would be put into a And one time he came back to God and said, God, indeed you have tricked me and now I'm about to die. Imana, and then God, there is a role he plays and then he leaves our part for us Imana to play. God will give you a calling and the people to mentor you are others. When you have not been mentored, then you work in a wrong way. Now, the, the way with the character and nature we are, in, I take it from my father who is sitting there. I remember when I was in church, we would sing songs, and then he would stand. He say, yes, you sang well. But still, this song needs to be corrected to match the word of God. There is a song we used to sing that the blood of Jesus is for nothing, but he said, no, the blood of Jesus has value. So we were kept on mentored. 
umuntu hariya yarateye imbere siwe nabamureze Today you may see a person eloquent developed no they are not them is because of the mentors they had before Yabwirizaga He would preach Akiri umusore when he was still young Akagira ngi minute 15 anavuga taramira umwuka nange ndabimwigana ukandi mbona birafashe and he would preach Uretse ku umuntu agenda ku rumwuka utangira guhera uvuga kanya gato kabaruhutse ariko namwi namwigiye kwibyo and he would preach consecutively for 15 minutes without breathing so i copied that from him and it went well because now you grow old sometimes you run out of air jeremia so jeremiah imana yabwiye ngo nzaguha bunge nzatanga abunge god told me go tell him i'll give you shepherds ariko yagize ikibazo but he had this problem umunsi natani the day nathan amenya ko daudi yikishije Uria kandi agacyura umugore we The day Nathan knew that David had murdered Uriah and then took over his wife Imana yaramubwiye ibyo Daudi yakoze God told him everything that David had done Nathan arazi So Nathan came Ageze kwa Daudi When he got to David is Pablo yamubwiye uko nyine yabibo He never went it said it straight forward Kubera ubwenge because of having wisdom Iyo umuntu atararerwa icyo abonye cyose arakivuga Before you are mentored then whatever you see you speak it out God does not speak in such a manner whenever he speaks he gives you information and you are the one to dilute it and find a way to give it out to the people in charge of it So he told David he said, David, we have a problem in the land. There is this poor man who had one goat. And in this poverty, there came a wealthy man who has a lot of cattle. He had visitors in his home. And now because of the powers and wealth that he has, then he took the goat of the poor man and slaughtered it for his visitors. That is amazing. And so David came out uh, boldly and said, Did this happen exactly in the nation that I am a king? This person should be and he's going to pay time, even together with other punishment they are working on. Can that happen in the nation I'm a king? And Nathan said, yes, king, this is what happened. And the one who did this, it is you, honorable king. He said, me. He said, yes. He said, don't you know God has given you a lot of women? But Uriah had just one wife. And now you have taken his wife and he has died too. He told him in a very, very low yeah, voice yeah, and good manner. By the time he was completed, David was already sleeping on his belly asking for forgiveness. Imagine if he had come and approached him and said, the God of Israel says that you have killed a man and took his wife. Then he would have called the security guard that beat him and take him out of this palace. When you have been mentored, you have been mentored you have the wisdom to deliver a message. Why? Because the way God gives us the message in our minds, we give it out according to the emotions we are having at the time. But then Jeremiah, 
He spoke the way he was given. He has received the message. And then he said, and then he, the king would say, take him, throw him in the dry pit, and also give him very bad bread. So uh, Jeremiah would spend days there and cry a lot and say, God, you tricked me, and now I'm here suffering. Until when they called him a, very, a crying prophet. So one time they told him, Tell us what God has told you. He said, No, no, no. <laughs> you will not beat me. I will not tell you. Just swear to me, you will not beat me. He said, No, no, no. You will not beat me. Just swear to me, you will not beat me. He said, No, no, no. You will not beat me. Just swear to me, you will not beat me. He said, No, no, no. You will not beat me. He had been afflicted for a long time to the extent that he learned from his afflictions. So when you have not been mentored, God will bring problems and they will mentor you. And that's why very good people and great people, they, when you come closer to them, they'll tell you how hard life has been to them and then you're going to learn from all their mistakes. So the work of God, it will be done by shepherds that have knowledge no and also understanding. No knowledge and understanding. Is different. You may go to a place. Okay, anyway. Wisdom. There is that we are given to by God. But knowledge will be given by the education and also the schools we attend. You learn through the subjects you study and then you learn from reading the learning materials of that subject. God said, I'll give you David and he will shepherd you through knowledge and understanding. The knowledge, the natural, Skill. no, the natural skills. That's how God said. So, so this requires anyone wanting to be in God's ministry should be reading what is of God. The word, and read it. And read it. And learn. After visiting Israel for so many times, I found that there are some things that I don't understand among the things of God. So this led me to want to study the Bible in Hebrew. After, Hebrew University, University of Hebrew. I have completed three years now, and in the next time, I am, I'm now in the fourth year, and the next year I'll be in the fifth. I'm learning in the Hebrews University. I also study with Jews in their own language. It is hard. But this amazed me. The Hebrew Bible. When you got to know a little bit of Hebrew. <laughs> it is very hard to interpret it in our own language. One word, one Hebrew word. Because 
one, one Hebrew word is comprised of our eight words. And the one interpreting the Bible, they will just write one word. Rugero. For example, Ijambo chesed, chesed. the word chesed. 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 In one Kinyarwanda word, we can say it is mercy. This is coming from the pool of Bethsaida. Bethsaida, the house of mercy. But then, Chesed is not only mercy. It also has other seven words out of it. Love. Goodness. Yes, mercy. To love extraordinarily. There are, other, there are other words I cannot pronounce because we don't have any vocabulary for that. But, but then we thank God for the people who interpreted the Bible in our own language. They have done their level best. So when you are reading, you get to understand the word via its roots. Most of the time, a Hebrew word will have three roots of itself. Let me teach you for a little while Hebrew. <laughs> okay. But it also works in according to other sayings. Like the, the speeches of the Akkadia, the Almania, and the Assyrian. It is a mixture of it all. In Swahili, receiving a person, we call it karibu. Isn't it? Karibu. Karibu. Karibu is when I'm a jambo. Ka, ra, naba. See you? Yes. Karibu. Karibu is made up of three words K, R, and B. Isn't it? So in Hebrews, they will take these three words. And then they will also spring out other roots. The word karibu is a word that was taken from the Arabic language, that was also taken from the Hebrew language, and also the Akkadia. Okay. Ka, ra, ba. K, R, and B. And the angels... Aba, on the throne of God, are called, they are called the cherubians. Nika, it is K, ra, R, ba. and B. So, you cannot go before the throne of God when the angels have not said, welcome, or karibu. And that, and that, and that's why they were always on the ark of the covenant. Whenever a priest came in when they have sins, they would turn into people and kill that person. So you cannot go on the throne of God when they have not said welcome or karibu. Now, I've not said other many things. In Kaharba, Karaba. in Karaba, <laughs> Harimo protection kurinda. The Yo manvu awa keruba raba marei kabarinda protection. The, also, there is a word called protection. That's why the Cherubians are also angels of protection. If that you have been used to this, so you cannot know this when you have not studied it. You shaka kum kozi wi manare. Ugomba kui gutu nuvutu kwe nuko. No buta kui ga igiwa ra yonki chariko ukagira nosio yibzimo urimo. So if you want to become a, a servant of God, then you should learn such things. It doesn't mean you should have a lot of material. Just take a few things out of that and learn them. Mm -hmm. 
abaganga bizi kiganga abanyamategeko biza amategeko ariko yo pasteli warabvuga ngo ni namwito ni hombeye no niyo mpamvu twiki bintu imana yabwiye nde yeremia ngo nzaba habungeri bameze gute bafite ubwenge no kumenya bize batazica amategeko Amen. This uh, profession of being a pastor is the only profession that does not have qualified professionals. So that's why God was telling Jeremiah that I will give you shepherds who have knowledge and understanding. You have to study. Amen. Amen. Kumenya. To understand. And you read the Bible. Paul will leave books for Timothy to read and tell him, when I come back, you tell me what you read. What you read. So a pastor who does not read, doesn't read the Bible, and even the commentaries of the Bible, then we are lying to people. We are lying. We are lying. Yeah. There is no work that is done without being studying for it. Even the keke security, they train how to hold a stick, how to hold a gun. But in the church, we have unqualified personnel. This does not mean you're not called. Jeremiah was called. Yeah. But he didn't have anyone to mentor him. So he spent the day being beaten, put in jail, cursing the day he was born, telling God, you have lied to me because of not being mentored. He had a very great message to him. But he never learned the diplomacy of God. Imana. So God has his own diplomacy. Jesus would speak in parables. That is one example of diplomacy in God. Okay. Whenever they asked him questions, then he would say, the kingdom of God is compared to this and this. So when they had the kingdom of God, they said, oh, now it is not here. Is so our pastors, God has called you and he anointed you. In Deuteronomy 34, 9 mm. Now Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom for Moses had laid his hands on him. When they lay hands on him and you, then you receive wisdom. The moment the parents are going to lay their hands Murakiru on you, ube. you will receive the spirit of wisdom. Hanyumarelu. And then after, Muzi, read for you to know. So the children of Israel heeded him and did as the Lord had commanded Moses. Today, God is going to approve the gift in you. But then the gift is going to shine when they lay hands on you. In the second book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 6, Second Timothy one. Second Timothy two verse twenty four. And I said, and a servant of the of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, be able to teach. By teaching, let me go back to the roots of the Hebrews. You must be able to teach and to deliver. In gear in Greek, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
aga translation kayo kindani ngo agomba kuba ashoboye kwigisha mu pastor agomba kuba ashoboye kwigisha a pastor must be able to teach nili najyo niryo yes this is also kwa biterwa numuntu translating ngani ufata this is also the right word as i told you earlier it is also a mu chongereza bavuze gute able to teach able to teach mu kinyarwanda ngo agakunda kwigisha ariko able capable d'enseigner capable ngo agomba kuba afite imbaraga zo kwigisha agomba kuba azi ibintu yigisha apana guhuza gurika they must be having the capacity to teach able to teach not to beat around the bush around the bush was ngo akihangana and they may be patient abantu bakoreye imana ikintu kibaranga benshi no kwihangana kuko iyo batihangana baba barabivuye mu kere nanone ni wo murimo ugira abantu benshi bakavuye kandi hataba prizo the people who have served god most of them should be revealed through their patience but still you find in this ministry we have a lot of people so confusing yet we have no prison for them Do you know leading people where by you cannot put them to prison? Kandi bamahane yet quarrelsome. Ngo bisaba umukozi w'Imana kwihangana. It requires a servant of God who is patient. Muzabihanganire. Ntapu patient with them. There is no way out. imbaraga z'umukozi w'Imana nuko basha kubwiriza neza witonze uguwe neza abantu bakuvuga kandi bakwicaye imbere the power of the servant of god is manifested by your ability to preach to people in front of you quarreling with you and also blaming you in all uzibyo baraye bagutuka ari gukaza ukabaha ijambo ry'Imana ukitahira you know how they insulted you last night but you come calmly and then you deliver to them the word of god uyu ni umukozi wahamagawa this is a called servant of god but those who were not called arazibyo bamututse kabihindura message wo musa kabacurisha they will come and that day it will be the title of their sermon kera nigeze gutumirwa mu pastor inyabugingo hari One time I was invited with, my, with, with one pastor in Nyabujingo place. They had come from Congo in Bukavu. And so I entered his office. Ati rero icyo naguhamagariye. And so he told me you see why I called you here. Ndabasengera. I pray for them. Ariko ntibampe nagasukara. But they never even give me sugar. Birigwa batoka umugore wanje. They insult my wife every day. They have insulted me. Tinone teme nateguye. Now the theme for today. Igizukwezi. I have a man uyirangirizemo so you should complete with it iravuga ngo shukurani yapunda ni take ngo inyiturano zindogobe no mugeri for a donkey is a kick but it goes and rutanduke ngo uve muri sije so please do not go aside his title iyo theme injera ubwo so i was scared because of this title Demaza none niki kiye chanditswe na agenderaho So I said what is the scripture to which we are best Go no ngo yo ni revelation muka wera kwerike He said no that is a revelation the spirit should instruct you how to do it No 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 vari bibaso So I felt there was chaos and Sanga fite bikomeri byinshi and he was wounded inwardly Fata umwanya kuganira nango mu counseling So I took time to counsel him Ari abantu nkabane yari yarishize mu mutwe ko ari mu bagumuri torero There were around four people that he had in his mind who were troubling the church so much Muri make nja kwigisha So in short I went to preach Sanga yaha mu itorero and the church was traumatized Yagiraga mikoro gutyo By the time he lay Bose bagasubira mu shukurani yapunda ni take Everybody would repeat the same chorus the reward of a donkey is a kick Bayisubiragamo uko ahagaza imbere They would repeat it the moment he stood on the pulpit Yarangiza akabaza ngo ni bande bakaba ngo ni twebwe And then they would say who are those and they would say we are the ones Aba Kristo barahamutse So the believers were traumatized Oh yeah Umushumba gomba kwihangana akarwaza izirwaye inzima kajyana nazo akihanganira izivunitse nizimushahira icyondo akakikura akongera kazereka inzira ubone we mushuru 
So a pastor must be patient and also clear, also heal the ones which are sick and also those which are thrown mad on him, they should go with them. That is the called pastor, we may say. Even when they are about to punish, and even, and even when, and even when they are going to punish paul says here that in humility correcting those who are in opposition if god perhaps will grant them the repentance in humility you correct the ones in opposition Amen. Amen. Bashumba rero. So pastors. Ibi mvuga murabizi mwarabisomye murabishoboye. No kwibukiranya. What I'm telling you here you already read about it is just making ourselves remember about it. Mukanya tugiye gusenga. And in a short while we are going to pray. Ariko dore akandi ngiye kurangirizaho Timoteo wa mbere gatatu kabiri. But this is what I'm concluding with still in 2 Timothy 2:3:2. Ngumwe episcopi akwiriye kubinyanga mugayo uyu ni umushumba kubinyanga mugayo A bishop must be blameless Sibzo Yeah we need fast semosi Ni muri fast okay Ngumwe episcopi akwiriye kuba inyanga mugayo kuba umugabo w'umugoro umwe Udakundi bisindish wirinda ugira gahunda mu kubaho kwe ukunda gucumbikira abashitsi ufite ubwenge bwo kwigisha A bishop can you can come come read it here come for men will be no first Timothy 3 2 just yes. read it A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, template, sober-minded, of good behavior, hospitable, able to teach. Able to teach. Yes. These are the things that you have. You are a man of integrity. But still continue with it. There are some of the things that I found for a servant of God to take care of them. Most, Most of the things most especially these are the things I found that servants of God should take care and not do it though hard to leave it things of dealing with your Christians it is not good because sometimes they are questioning your integrity so the better you leave it because you are above them Waka waka kiri ya wakristo wabili bashkwa njuka wakiza. Nona yonu shkwa na nawe. Mubi inubzo. Zubu churuzi. Nindu za kizuni. So Kani you kiwasi. may receive Christians who are having quarrels. But then now what if you have a quarrel with some Christian. Who is going to come in your midst to unite you? Chani kiwas. That is a question to answer. Ubu nyanga muga yo. Haribzo butatkwe mire la gukora. Nugo bzaba ingomba. Integrity at times will stop us from doing things though you can you are it is a major thing to do kindi muzabona ba Kristo azako kubwira makosa yundi mushumba tuzamwemerere nta mushumba uvuga undi mushumba ku mukristo and other thing you see Christians coming to report to you the mistakes of other pastors do not accept that there is no pastor who speaks against another pastor before a believer mm -mm. no there is no pastor who will go to the believers and tell them how other believers or how other pastors are troubling them. That 
that is not being integrity. Niwe ufite kurindugo rusengero. Iyo rero uruvuze kandi nabi wenyine uba witeme yishamye wicayo. Is you the protector of that church and now once you come up slandering it then you are breaking down the altar. Umunsi umwe nabajije papa hano ndamubaza muri biro. At one time I asked my parent here. Namubwi ati muze. I asked him father. Mwatugiriye nabi. You really did bad to us. Arambaza ngo kuberike. He said why? Ndabwira burye mwagiraga ibibazo nimutubwire ko mu bintu by'Imana aba mwibazo murakecheka tubijya mu mureba. So I was questioning normally you had issues in this pastorhood thing and we didn't know we thought everything was well and you left us alone. Twabona igiye kimwe bakagenda bakikingira na hantu bakaba ngo ngo ni baraza ya waze. Tukagira ngo bari mu mwuka. Naho nabo bari mu ntambara. Ntitubimenye. Baraza ya waze ikagira imisi. Ntitumenye ibyo ari byo. Naho kumbe baraza ya waze bacocaguraga ibibazo. Tabaza kuki mutatubwiye ko haba ibibazo mu murimo w'Imana. So at times we would see them going for a retreat and they would tell us this is a corridor or a chairing of the old men. So we never knew what was happening in that chairing. Why didn't you tell us that there were issues in being a pastor? And then he told me this is how the work of God is. If we had told you earlier, <laughs> you would free from it, but now you are serving and you are alright. right. <laughs> I have never served in any other level, but this level of being a pastor, my fellow pastors about to be ordained, it is very hard. <laughs> Kuambero <laughs> To tell you the truth, on Monday, many pastors, they resign, and then they come back on Thursday. If God would to, on Saturday, if God would to come, there are not the believers to question God. The pastors would be the ones to question God, saying, God, where are the promises you have promised? There is a team of the servants of God. We work together. Pastor J.B. Arabas. Pastor JB knows about Igera hagare yurubyiruko yagiye mu bahagariye urubyiruko rwabo kwisi. When he was in charge of the youth then he went to also for the conference of the youth pastors. Na ba pastor Jana. They are 100 pastors in number. Bakomeye kwisi. Great pastors in the world. Nibura ba Kristo ucumbye bagomba ko bari munsi hejuru y'ibihumbi bitatu. At least you must be you must be ministering to 5000 and above believers. Bifatikiye kugira ngo ugo rugaga umuntu arugema. So it takes time for you to join this team of pastors. Je byamfashige sinari imbizi baje kunsaba. It took me time because I never knew about it they came to ask me. Ariko ari umugabo wo mukenya ungizeho imyaka itatu. But then there is this Kenyan man who had 3 years in it. No no nje kubona barantumi. And so they invited me. I went into this. Thing. Every year we select a nation to where we are going to meet. And in March of this year, we shall be in Cape Town in South Africa. So when I got there, there are many great servants of God like Long Yong Chu who have mega churches, those in Brazil who have around 3 million believers. Very great servants of God and pastors. So they take time everyone to introduce themselves. And we meet. So why did they put up this team Nukugira ngo 
Abo turebe shama sisi wakome ye. Na abi imanizi. Abo ni wakome ye. Ariko isi fite ukubit. It's for whom these pastors or the world calls great, though in the physical eye you may be seen great, but before God you're not great. What brings them together is just to sit and talk and talk about all their pain. And then after, the women will go aside on their own and the men will go in their own retreat. Ugende wege rumunu umubwira intege nge za bibazo byawe na ubona huvugira kuko buyoboye nti wababwira ibibazo byawe ariko hamwese mwese muraresha They tell you find a person you are going to confide in tell him about your weaknesses tell him all your troubles because all of you here are the same level Naneho kinavuga saba ngaba barakenera ndi And now I say now these people do they need Yego no abantu bose bagiye mu nguni mu ndavuga we so I came to see that each and everybody was going into their corner and I was wondering right in the room the women are also wailing and others are also wailing so this is when I got to know this is not an easy thing Normally, many of the problems they have are not the problems of the church they are heading. These are can be can can be like these levels of political levels, economic levels. They are handling a lot of issues there. So when you sit to talk ukabona wa mugabo ukomeye wasomaga ibitabo bye wa mukurikira ku ma television iki yakubwira kasa numwana muto cyane mwarangiza akavuga ngo ndaruhutse ngo nzongera kuza muri vidange umwaka utaha and so biba buri mwaka and so you see this great man whom you always see on TV reading their books, delivering their material, very eloquent men, but when they get before you, they cry like a baby and they say, oh, I'm now at ease. I'll come back the next year to pour out myself. My brother. Pastors, whenever you have a problem, do not keep it to yourself. Get another pastor and pour out your heart to them. Because you, every day you receive the problems of people. You are the dustbin that receive all the dust in people. And then in the evening after delivering it to God, also, seek another pastor you trust that you can also pour out your heart to all your weaknesses. Even the high priest in the Old Testament, whenever they went to sacrifice, they had to also first sacrifice for themselves. So also find someone to sacrifice for you and may God bless you for that. Amen. 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 At this moment, allow me that we go into this good moment. Ndasaba Abasengere Rwanda bahamagara gutera intambwe hano imbere hanyuma nyuma ndaza gusaba turagirigiye tuza gusaba abafasha babo baze nabo kubahagarara inyuma mu kanya I will first request for those to be ordained as pastors to come first and then after I will call their spouses to come to turahamagara mbonye Jafete kuza hano imbere Tuyizere Jean Baptiste kurikiraho Bahati Bwira Jean nawe kuzana imbere mporana pita donc Jafete ni uhagarira itoro rya bya Kanombe tuyizere Jean Baptiste nuwimwurire Bahati Bwira Jean wa hano mu gatenga uyo twaratangira nyekera muri 1999 twarabanye kuva kera zayo nikitangira Pastor mporana pita wa Kabuga yahageze 
Eh, Pastor Mugwaneza Alexis. Mm -hmm. eh, Pastor, na kuise Pastor Desh. <laughs> Mugwaneza Alexis, tu gie kumusabira, niwe Pastor Uza Doha Garaira Inyanza. Amen. Mushabe Benjamin, da gira ngwa teri namwe harimbere. Nwahano mugatenga. Mwesi gesamu, hano mugatenga, karibu. Imani shimwecha. May God be praised. Ndagira ngo tubereke abene data mwana batabereye ubupasiteri. And they looking and worthy to be pastors. Murabereye pe. You look good. Dore abantu bagiye guheka umurimo tugiye guhekana nabo umurimo wima. These are the people we are going to carry on the ministry together. Imani ba umugisha kuba mwarumviye umuhamagaro. May God bless you for you have accepted this calling. Amen. Amen. Eh ndabona ntazo ufite mu cyongereza sinzi kugira ngo ducunguze uburyo umwe ati sinzi uko tubigenza. Turagerageza. Ya. Eh kugira ngo tuze kwihuta. Ndabona bata guteguriye ariko our brethren who are standing here right in front of us, they are servants of God that we are going to ordain and anoint today for this ministry they have been called for. This is God's own ministry it's not ours or theirs, but it's for God. So I am just showing them to you. Brethren, you may open up your files. And let's start from the preaching we had 3.15 of Jeremiah. Today on the 21st of this Saturday, in the year of our Lord, 2023. 2023. 2023. This is a special day in the ministry of God here in Zion Temple. It is the day that we, the servants of God, have gathered here to ordain these pastors as servants of God. You're seeing them here right before you. And these are the ones who were chosen after studying them for a while that they are able to do this ministry. Me, me standing in be on behalf of all the pastors, the bishops of the church, and the believers here in Zion Temple in Rwanda, I am showing them to you that we may set them apart for the work of God they are going to do under the leadership of Zion Temple Celebration Center. 
abashinzwe kugenzura ndetse no gukurikirana aba bakozi b'Imana the ones who are in charge to examine and also to learn about these servants of God basanze bashitse kandi barahamagaye gukorera Imana they found them right called to serve God muri uyu murimo in this ministry kuko imbaraga zabo zingana just as their powers are bavandimwe muteraniye hano my brothers who are gathering here uyu munsi nyuma yo gusenga no gushima no kugisha inama umwuka wera turizera ko aba bene data bakwiriye gusengerwa Today after prayer and also seeking counsel from the Holy Spirit we believe that these brethren are worthy of being ordained. Namwe ni bamwemezanya natwe ko bakwiriye gusengerwa mukomere Yesu amashi. And if you approve it that they should be ordained let's give Jesus a mighty hand clap. Imani shimwe cyane. May God be praised. Torero mwadusubiriramo ngo yego turabyemeye. Church, can you repeat that? Yes, we accept. Thank you so much. Let me ask you this question. Are you going to support them in prayer as the pastors that are leading you? Yes, we accept. After, her, after hearing the acceptance of the church, we are also going to pray for our brethren. But before that, they must also accept what they are about to start to do. I don't you can come closer to the microphones that you also may do it at once. Eh. Bwose. Sabaririmbye nabakoze bimba. Abandi ushobora kuzibaha muzikoreho twumve ko zivuga. Okay. Urayegera. Eh bene data bashumba my brethren's pastors you're going to be servants of God in his holy temple you're called to proclaim the resurrection of Jesus and called to evangelize the good gospel you are called to proclaim the divine nature of Christ and the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. You are called to keep your faith and keep the unity and also the good program of the church. Call to also celebrate the new covenant of the New Testament, the new celebration occasions of the New Testament. That is the Holy Communion. Praying for the child's education. And if able, you can wash the feet of the saints. And also baptism. You are called to ordain the deacons and also leaders in different departments of the church. Benedata. My brethren. Your heritage is from your, the, belief, the belief, the faith of your great fathers. The faith, the faith of the patriarchs and also the, the prophets. And the faith that we have seen from the disciples, the apostles. And all those who became martyrs because of Christ. And all those who put all their hope in God. My brethren. Let your joy be only to walk in the way of the Lord Jesus. Yes, we are and what did Jesus do? He never, he never came to be served, but then to be a servant leader. He gave in himself and also died for them. Accept to be servants of people. 
uyu mwanya ndi muza ukoreshe kuba umwanya uremereye cyane wibyubahiro bikomeye nubwo mukwiri cyubahiro incure byiri ariko muzamanuke mukorane nabarushi Though you deserve double honor in this time, but then do not take yourself to be great people. Come down to your levels and then serve the people. And after this word, I would like you to allow me and repeat after me, after this swearing. We have questions that we are about to ask you. The first. Do you believe? Do you believe it without doubt that you are called and also worthy to be ordained as a pastor? Musubize. Yego. Murakoze Kibazo cha kabiri Uzemera kubaha no kubahiriza uyu muhamagaro mu kwizera no kumvira kose kwa Kristo Do you allow to honor this calling and all the faith in Christ Yego zabikora Murakoze Icya gatatu Uzaba umwizerwa mu gusenga mu kwinginga no gusoma ibyanditswe byera kugira ngo ugire akamero ka Kristo Are you going to be faithful in reading the scriptures and also believing in the scriptures that you may have the nature and character of Jesus Yego nzabikora Icyakane uzamamaza unasobanure ubutumwa bwiza bwa Kristo Uhishurira abo uyoboye hatarimo kuvangirwa Are you going to proclaim the good gospel of the Lord Jesus without interrupting the gospel Yego nzabikora Chagata uzashishikarira kubaho ubuzima butarangwa numugayo uwari wo wose bwejejwe kandi butabangamira umuntu wese are you going to be determined to live a holy life and also a pure life that does not show any disintegrity in it? Yego nzabikora. Chagatandatu. Uzahagararira mu kurindana ifuhe kwizera ubumwe na gahunda nziza yitorero. Are you going to stand in jealousy to protect the unity and also the plans of the church? Yego nzabikora Icyakari wiyemeje kuba intumwa ari we muyobozi wahawe iri yerekwa ry'uyu murimo mu nshingano zose azaguha ziteze uyu murimo imbere no kumvira ubuyobozi bwashizweho kugira ngo burinde ubusugire bw'itorero Are you ready and also accept to, uh, to, to obey the apostle who is the leader of this ministry and also to obey all the plans for the development of this church? Yego nzabikora. Umunani, uzagirira impuhwe bose, wele kane ubugira neza kubakene, kubababaye, mumubiri, ndeteno umutima, yewe. Are you going to have compassion and have mercy on the poor and those who are not well in their bodies, the forgotten and the unreached in this gospel? Yego nzabikora. Ichanyu machichenda. Nkumushumba. Uzakomeza vera bose. Uwafashe, uwasengere, udahwema. Unishi manenabo. Mumihango yo kuizihiza guchungur kwa kwa achu. Are you going to help all the believers celebrate with them in all their occasions and in accordance to our beliefs? Yego nzabikora. Doe yesa mashikubga. Binyu zemura ya masezera nukozi mbere yimana yoku za korito rori ya yomuru yomurimo ubushumba. Ndaongera ngusabe gusubiramo iindahiro 
Through these all proclamations you have made to serve God in his ministry, I would also again request you to repeat after me in these words. Deka musome urahera hari avuga ngo ngiyewe uvuga izina ryawe hanyuma musome. You're going to read starting by I and then you continue reading the whole swearing. Amen. Amen. Murakoze cyane. Thank you so much. Ndasaba ngo mwigire hano. I request you to come closer here. Ndasaba protocole mudufashe. And also the ushers are going to help us. Muze kudufasha kwigiza ibi ahinyuma. Tugiye kwinjira mu muhango nyirizina wo kubasengera. We are now entering into the moment of ordaining our pastors. Ndaza gusaba abafasha babo. I request their wives. Ufite mwene data bahati eh umufasha we yaratashye yagiye kubana n'Imana eh ariko afite umukobwa we mukuru aza amushikikire muri uwo murimo. For the wife of Bahati is not here. She has gone to live with the Lord. I will request her elder daughter his elder daughter to come and stand by the father's side. Nimwigire hino eh protocole mu bafashe Muri uyu mwanya ndasaba rero abashumba aribo harimo no mubyeyi wacu At this moment I request all the abashumba muze hano imbere our parent to come forward eh wabafite ikibazo yatubwira bakamuhinte bakicaraho cyo gupfa Anyone who may be having a problem to stand they should be given okay. a chair Okay mwihangane rero gatoya turasaba abafasha babo kuza hano Yes. There are spouses to come and stand behind them. Abashumba, You stand behind them. The elder daughter. Sandrine. Sandrine Rari. Simama Pari Hagarango in your mama. Okay. Mova Fatemo, we took on what she did. You can hold their shoulders. Reka to save our shumba to a shirebi ganza. And also ask the pastors to lay hands on them. We take a Nami Manayachu. Our Lord God Almighty. To Gushimiye, we must see Misa. We thank you for this good day. An amazing day that you have chosen your servants. And you have set them apart that they may serve you. We thank you that they are not men servants. But they are servants under your great hand. Father, we pray that you give them wisdom. Give them power from heaven. Let them be your servants accepting to be led by the Holy Spirit. Let them be servants accepting to be led. 
and also accept to be led and also to be led before in all their weaknesses we thank you for your good word that says that we are enabled by all by Christ who gives us the strength let them not look on their own strength but then them, they focus their eyes and look at you who will enable them to do all. We thank you that you will enable them themselves. We thank you for you are enabling their wives and thanking you for enabling their children and, and thank you for that you are going to enable the churches they are going to leave. Thank you God of all powers Thank you, God of all authority. Thank you so much for filling them with your Holy Spirit. Spirit. We thank you that starting from now, and we plead with you, Lord, starting from this moment, that they may be filled with the Holy Spirit, they may be led by the Holy Spirit, they may accept the Holy Spirit to use them, and also accept the Spirit to use them and lead them in whatever they do. We thank you, God, for you have heard and our prayer. And thank you, you, let the glory and honor be unto in you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. we pray. Amen. 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 Keep on. There is a prophetic, a prophetic sign that we are going to do. And God told Samuel that go with you with a horn full of oil and anoint one of the sons of Jesse. So the sons of Jesse have been found today. The one who are going to fight Goliath and bring him down. Let us anoint them with oil. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You overcome the, the giants. Be filled with more power beyond what you have been having. And may God increase your power. May He increase your power in your daily works. That you may have spiritual power. You may have the power of God to come down in your life. And this horn containing the oil they may God use it to do great things in your life that the power of God and the authority of God the Bible says it's called by, not by strength or might it's by the Holy Spirit may God enclose you another garment the garment of power and you should serve him the anointing of God should flow on your life just as this flood on David may God do great things on you and let the authority and greatness, power and honor of God be upon your life that you should overcome the giants and you fulfill your calling let the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you let the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you the peace of the Lord Jesus now. The peace of the Lord Jesus Now let them stand. And let the Lord Jesus May God bless you. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you. The peace of the Lord you. may take your seats back. Kigiti, Kigiti, 
Rekababandi ke imi saraba. Ibiri ravuga ngo wikorera umusaraba nkurikire. Pastor Jerome, you can pick up the Bibles that we may give them to the pastors. If you have photos, if you have Pastor, come, come. Yeah. Just to give the. Photo just now, why baby? Pastor Jero, Fata pose now, okay. Pastor JB, Pastor JB just distributed it. I got it. Pastor JB, I was chilling. Bonyi ni haria. Bonyi. Amen. No, 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 no. He will distribute. Just, just arrange their name then anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. JB, we photos in our way. Arikomu bigiri na bandi. Ibyo na abgari bzo. Mubi kore na bandi.
Okay. The book you've just been given. It, it says here that Zen tempo iri mu rugaga rw'amatorero yivuga butumwa kwisi muri muri evangelic world Zion tempo is among the evangelic world kandi abakristo ba evangelic kwisi bari half million imwe and evangelic Christians are about 1 billion aho muzajya hose wherever you go ukerekana ikimenyetso ngicyo and you show a sign like this one matorero sivuga butumwa bazabakira all evangelical churches will receive you imana ibaho umugisha may god bless you chemezo. that is your certificate amen amen bene data bo mu itorero zo temple celebration center mu Rwanda uyu munsi brother reigns in zion temple celebration center in Rwanda today twimitse aba bene data nkabashumba we have ordained our brethren as pastors. The Bible says, That remember those who taught you and preached you the word and also follow their faith. You should follow your leader and strengthen them in faith and also support the vision they have in this ministry. And the word of God says that obey all your leaders and submit to them because they are always awake and alert keeping your hearts at those who are going to be questioned about you. So obey them so that they should not do it in complaining because once they do it in complaining it will, be, or will not be of good for you. This leader has just not just ordained themselves. They have been ordained by the Holy Spirit. This, this position they didn't request for it is the Holy Spirit who has appointed them and the Holy Spirit has given them the authority to perform this work. And remember how the word of God tells us, church, that respect the servants of God in your midst. And it says also, do not lose, do not take care, be careless about the Levite in your midst. And also take food to them. Get to know they have children. If God blesses you, share with them what God has blessed you with. Let the pastor not reach an extent of asking you for something. Always just tell yourself to do it. And to go to them. Just as your, all your positions and also. The Bible says we should obey those who lead us. In love and also taking caution not to slander them never slander your pastor because the word says never touch the anointed you have seen the anointing the oil they have been anointed no one has the right to tamper with them anyhow they feel they have been anointed by God they, are, they cannot be touched in the spirit. So do not slander them. 
Do not go slandering them outside. Do not go slandering them in public. But live in peace, all of you. That's what the Bible cautions us. Whenever you have a problem, come to them. And God is going to bless you. And the words I'm telling you are the words of our Lord. Respect, obey it and also take care of it. As we are concluding, my brethren, the word of God reminds that the servants of God, they deserve rewards. I've seen people who have not worked for any reward. These are the, our fathers. They would write uh, agreements saying that we should not be paid at all. That is right. Because you can never find uh, the amount of money you can pay to a pastor. A person who prays for you when you have lacked sleep and you get it, then you can find nothing to pay. But the Bible says that we should remember in our should remember them in our possessions. We, we can share what we have though we cannot find what to reward them with. Take good care of yourself, the servants of God or the pastors as you are able in all your possessions and in the blessings of what you possess. I testify this before the Lord God Almighty and before the Lord Jesus Christ that you should do it without complaint and without leaving your responsibilities. Continue to take care of your families but also take care of your pastors. I request you all those who agree with us so that you are going to be humble before them and receive them as your leaders and God is going to bless you and if you accept this give Jesus a thunderous mighty hand clap Amen, Amen. I would like you in this moment that we take a photo and announcing to you that the occasion of today we have completed it in the name of Jesus Christ. These pastors you see here from now the name you call them first put pastor before it. Never call them anyhow you find. Tell them pastor Sam and not hi Sam. Pastor Mboni how are you? Let it start to be already communicating in your hands. These are pastors. And these pastors let us obey them and also honor them. I request my fellow pastors and others I invite you to come that we take a photo. I know you have a lot in your hearts to say. But we shall, we shall give you. We shall give you. We shall, we shall let you go that you go and celebrate because tomorrow we have a service. Here. This is a great day. Here yes, Let's give Jesus a mighty hand clap. Yes, Praise the Lord. Yes, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Yes, Jesus. Jesus is great. Let us let us and give him a thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Let's request Pastor Jerome to come and conclude. Just two minutes. I have something Thank you. else. Zawadi here, Clemence. Zawadi Clemence, come, 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 come forward. Just one minute. We know. Come.
Zawadi Clemence. Clemence Zawadi. I'm from Australia, Perth. She lives in uh, Perth in Australia. Uyu mubyeyi. This mother you see. Imana yamukoreye bikomeye. God did great things for her. Bamusanzemo mu myaka ishize. Akize imyaka ibiri. Part 2 years past they found. Basanze umubiri we wose. Urimo kanseri wa iri generalize ahantu hose. She had general cancer in her whole body. Nyuma yo gusenga. And then after praying. Bamaze kumushira mu cyumba cyo gusezera icyumba abaganga babwira umuntu ngo rya icyo ushaka wifuza kuko ugiye gupfa mu bihe bazana no muwavoka arasinya bazasigara nabana be baraza byose kuko yari yapfuye ariko tumaze gusenga basubiye mu byuma babangiye kujya kumubaga ngo bakure mu inda yose abaganga bahageze basanga kanseri yose yagi They had put her in the farewell room whereby they say, say bye to each and everyone, eat whatever you want because in a few days you're about to die. So she was about to be operated. By the time of the operation, they found she had no cancer. Nichagi. That was the hari, time. Hari muri, muri COVID. We were enduring the lockdown in COVID. We worked together online. And the doctors mumbled. Buke baramusaba. And so the next time they requested her that she should be a subject of research and see what had happened. This is her third year. There is no any spot of cancer. She is well. So in those times, Ari mu bitaro umuntu araza aramubwira mu ndembe z'abantu benshi ngo abone umuntu araje amutungura tokaravuga ngo wewe urakize And in all the sick people sick, sick, sleeping on their sick beds the person came and pointed to her and said you you are healed Kwa yaraje amye gitanda because as she was sleeping on her bed mukashaka wa umuntu aramubwira And she woke up to seek for the person who just talked to her Arandi telefone ngo baganga bavuze ngo bambage watese mjemere and then she called me, she said, the, the, the doctors are insisting to operate me. Should I accept? And then I told her, yes, lead them to operate you. And they told her that after the operation, in her lips, she said, and after, and after, after the operation, they would put a tube to where she would be using it to ease herself because all her organs will be dead. The operation was to, was to start from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's why they had to put anesthesia in her. You follow this testimony in the days to come. And when they had put her on the operation table, when so many great doctors in Australia had come, when they got her to the operation bed, and then on that moment there came a small particle of meat that was in form of a tongue and they found that it had collected all the cancer and took it away from her body it was a tongue like, like a tongue of man. So it went through all her body and had to sweep away all the cancer and came out with it. And this person continued to tell her that this hand use it and spread the gospel. Now I want us in a short moment that we pray to be an evangelist that when she goes to Australia she will start evangelizing.
The reason why God healed her and saved her, she should accomplish it. Don't you think she should be prayed for <laughs> to evangelize? She has a testimony. Amen. Amen. Ndasaba Papa Kuza. Others, let's point our hands to her as I join these to pray for her. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I felt like singing. Pony a pita ye wote. A me fi ka ha pa A wa po nye sha wa tu mo yo Yesu wa u pe dum Gina li na lo pita yo te Juna chi Pote pia Gina kubwa Gina jema Yesu wa upendo Turagushima Yesu We thank you Lord Jesus Wa ufiti zina risumba ya nibazina You who has a name above all other names Zina rijargi muri miso ziga hunga A name that shifts mountains and Niko wana bivuza ngo sikubgi imbaraga Sikubga maloko And you say it is not by mighty and by mighty Ariko nikubgu muka wanje But it's because of my Holy Spirit Hallelujah Turagushima kuko kubgi imbaraga zumuka We thank you because of the power of the Holy Spirit That there is a power that takes away mountains There is a power that takes away mountains there is a power that takes away cancer. There is a power that heals all kinds of diseases. And this is the power you, you promised to others who are not like us. You promised to others who are not like us. And they will say in the name of Jesus they will be healed. Be praised because you have healed us. Be praised because you have empowered us. That you should proclaim to the world who are not like us. And they get to know your kingdom. And they get to know your other saviour. And get to know you're the redeemer of people. And then them those who hear what you did to her. All the multitudes should cry out to you. And they should get to know the country of your God. Be praised for how you have accepted it. Be praised for how you have done it. Let all the glory be unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 My brethren. That I send you go out in the world and spread the gospel and deliver those living and, and cast out demons and heal the diseases. What God has done to you, also do it to others. Also share it with others. This oil. When you anoint the sick, they should be healed. You cast out demons in the name of Jesus Christ. This hand, may God use it. The miracles and signs and the gifts of the Holy Spirit should be done. And you also pray for the sick and they should be healed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus is still working. Among the song, the words he was singing was saying the, the savior, the healer of all diseases, beyond Moses is also here. That he is already here. May Jesus use you in your home. May Jesus use you in what you do.
Yini certificat. This is your certificate. Ya ordination. Kwa senge yoku mufuga butum. Of ordinations as an evangelist. Kwa gie mufuga. Ngui not ki photo zeno. Yini bibiri. And this is your Bible. Uzai, uzai, uzai some. Read it. It has the words of wisdom. 